Hey, how's it going everyone? Welcome back to It's Poppin' where we talk about everything pop-up camper related. So in this video, I wanna to talk to you about must-have pop-up camping accessories. Now, I know this might seem similar to a few of our previous videos, but I wanna make the distinction. So this video is gonna be all about those pop-up camping accessories or items that you're gonna bring with you to make your time camping more enjoyable. Um, as opposed to the pop-up camp her accessory videos in which we talked about a lot of those items and things that you want to have when you own a pop-up camper. The things that go with your pop-up camper as opposed to the things you might bring camping. So that's really the, the big distinction. But if you take all those items and all of these items that we're going to talk about today, it really um, gives you a full picture of what you might need to have uh, an enjoyable um, experience camping. And if you guys get value out of this video, the best way to support us is by subscribing and coming back and watching more videos. All right, so the first thing on our list are these folding chairs. Now, these are just some of your run-of-the-mill cheap folding chairs that you can get about pretty much anywhere. But we always make sure to bring at least two of these for ourselves and then as many folding chairs as people are going camping with us. So, you know, sometimes two, sometimes four, sometimes six of these. And we'll just throw these in the front storage box. So definitely bring along folding chairs. I know a lot of the times, you know, there might be a picnic table at your campsite, but that's definitely not adequate for, for seating and it's, I don't know, I don't think you'd want to sit at a picnic table if you're trying to enjoy the fire. So definitely, definitely, definitely bring some uh, folding chairs or some other type of um, seating arrangements. So second is going to be coolers. Oh boy, how am I going to show this to you guys? Okay, so this is um, ugh, one of our nicer coolers. <laughs> so this is a, I think, um, let's see, 55 quart cooler and it's one of the rotomoto coolers by igloo and it's very similar to like a yeti or an arctic or any of those other um rotomold cooler companies and i mean they do subjectively seem to do a better job at at um retaining ice and keeping things cooler for longer so what we'll do is we'll put a lot of our food in here that we want to make sure it doesn't spoil we want to make sure it doesn't get warm we'll put our food in in something like this and then we'll bring along one of our less expensive coolers for our drinks because we're usually going in and out of those uh, more frequently and then that way we don't have to worry about our uh, food getting warm at all. So we rarely use a refrigerator and that's why we um, I'll always bring a cooler or two depending on how long we're staying. So continue along with kind of the food th um, theme, we almost always, actually probably always, bring some sort of outdoor cooking appliance. So I know a lot of you might have pop-up campers where it will have like a carry-out stove or maybe a carry-out propane grill that'll attach to your side, uh, that's attached to the side of your pop-up camper. And that's great, but we, we usually enjoy either grilling stuff up or using a flat top uh, grill like a Blackstone, which is what we have. So the next items that uh, we think must have or like uh, maybe a charcoal grill, a small one like this, which is uh, you know pretty portable. Or alternatively, if you don't want to bring charcoal along with your charcoal grill, you know maybe something like a small um, little gas grill that uses the little one-pound propane uh, bottles. So we clearly enjoy grilling or using the um, flat-top grill to do a lot of our cooking. And just make sure you bring whatever appropriate. Um, fuel you need for that, whether it's charcoal or the little propane um, fuel canisters, or like the Blackstone will actually even hook up into your um, big propane tank. So things like that. And then of course, you know, if you need uh, grill scrapers or tongs or a spatula, stuff like that, don't forget it. Continuing with the uh, cooking uh, theme, which clearly is very important to us when we're camping, is um, things to cook um, on the fire. So. Probably, I would say, actually, once again, almost every time we go camping, we'll cook pudgy pies. So we'll do like uh, ham and cheese pudgies or um, pizzas or tacos even in our pudgy pie makers. And of course, those go right in the fire. And um, they're a great way to enjoy a fire and cook a meal. Um, we also, a lot of the time, we'll make 
things called woofums. And if you've never heard of those, definitely um, search that and you can make these um, woofum sticks yourself to make them. And um, they're a lot of fun and a cool alternative to um, s'mores. But then of course, um, we also have our marshmallow roasters or hot dog roasters, whatever you want to call it for making s'mores and hot dogs and stuff like that. So definite must haves for cooking over the fire. Finally, and um, honestly, it probably doesn't get used nearly as much as these other items, but we have also have a cast iron skillet if we want to cook uh, directly over the fire um, where the skillet would be more appropriate. So moving on kind of from the cooking realm, um, one of my favorite things about going camping is of course having a fire. So definitely make sure you bring firewood and not only firewood, but make sure you bring some like, uh, make some tool, bring some tools, I should say, to process that firewood. So whether that's a small ax or hatchet, so you can uh, process it down, um, foldable saw maybe for um, processing, maybe some fallen wood or dead wood or whatever, or even like a wood processing knife like this one, a rather large one to get some of that, uh, those smaller sticks or, or whatnot. So definitely recommend having some wood processing tools. Also going along with that, um, to get a fire going, you're gonna want some sort of tinder. And of course, you know, newspaper is an easy one, but you can make a, you can make your own at home. You can buy commercial ones, whatever you want, but bring something to get those small sticks started. And then of course, some sort of a uh, wand lighter or um, something similar to this that you can get those fires going. So that all is um, really kind of summed up into like a fire making category. So you can enjoy those fires when you're out camping. All right, moving on. My next, and it's, a, and it's more of a category on this list, is lighting or a flashlight or a headlamp, something like that. We prefer headlamps. That way we can kind of work with both hands, whether, you know, getting back to fire making, if we're making a fire or if we're taking the dogs for a walk at night or something like that, we have our headlamps with us. Um, but of course you could take flashlights or whatever. And we also have a, um, a uh, lantern. This usually just goes on our tabletop um, to give us some nice area light um, for, uh, for when it gets dark out. And going along with flashlights, don't forget some extra batteries because inevitably you'll, uh, or your, your flashlights will die when you need them. So we have some spare D's, triple A's, double, or double A's, triple A's, just in case. All right, so the next thing on my list is bug spray and sunscreen. Um, I hate mosquitoes, who likes them? Uh, I don't know anybody who does, but we always bring bug spray with us and um, that way we can kind of keep the mosquitoes at bay. And then it kind of, I guess, I guess it kind of depends on where you're camping and what activities you plan on doing, but sunscreen definitely helps um, in, um, you know, less shaded areas or if you're gonna go hiking or swimming or whatever, it, it might not hurt to have. So bug spray and sunscreen are also some must haves on our list. Just a few more things for the sake of being all encompassing that I think you should um, definitely have on your, on your pop-up camping list. And that is of course, dishware and cutlery. Um, make sure you got you know, your plates, your bowls, cups, all of your utensils, and then any you know, kitchen utensils that you think you might need for making whatever's on your um, cooking list. Also, don't forget to pack your pillows and blankets and sheets, whatever you might need for sleeping arrangements, um, along with your clothing and toiletries and towels. Make sure that um, makes it on the list somewhere as well. And last but not least, this is definitely a must have for me, and hopefully uh, it, it is on your list as well if you're a coffee lover, but some sort of coffee maker, whether that's an electric coffee maker, traditional one, or for example, here I have an electric kettle and then a uh, French press. Um, that's all great if you have electric hookups, but if you don't, maybe consider a more traditional kettle where you can boil it over um, either your propane stove or on the fire, and then you can do like a French press or a pour over or whatever, but that's, um, this is definitely one of my must haves and I'm sure it is for a lot of you out there who enjoy coffee. So um, that about does it for um, our um, must have pop-up camping items. Is there anything on your guys' list that uh, didn't make it on, on mine? If, uh, if so, let us know. Um, but here's what I'm gonna do. I'm going to uh, share our um, pop-up camping packing list 
and I think it will uh, be available like via Google Drive or something like that. I'm just going to link to it and that's a list that we reference um, a lot of the times when maybe we're first going camping for the season and that way we make sure everything that got pulled out of the camper gets put back in and we're a little rusty on what to bring so we can just go off and check stuff off. So I'm going to share that guys with you. It's um, definitely tailor-made to us, but feel free to print it off or, or make it your own and add stuff to it and whatever. Um, that way you don't forget anything um, when you're pop-up camping and it makes packing a little bit less stressful. So hopefully uh, we see you out there camping. <laughs> Thank you.